Welcome back to Let's Build a Wheelie's Jeep channel. Just hanging out underneath the Jeep right here on my little roller. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install the emergency brake return spring on the emergency brake cable. And this will complete the emergency brake series on the Wheelie's Jeep. We are now gonna install the emergency brake return spring onto this lever and onto the emergency brake clevis, which is attached to the emergency brake cable, which runs all the way to the cane on the dashboard. And this clevis will fit on the lever right here. And there'll be a clevis pin fed through the lever and through the clevis right here. The first step to this install is I would grease up these two components right here as these are where areas and we don't want this to get all seized up on us so just apply some multi-purpose high temperature grease also put some grease onto the clevis pin now with everything greased up we can put this assembly together. Make sure to install this clip while putting this all together. So how it goes is the clevis pin goes through the clip and now you put the clevis through the lever onto that hole, and feed it all together. Like that, make sure everything rotates nicely up the excess grease here and then we'll stick a cotter pin through this hole with your cotter pin stick it through the hole make sure you find a cotter pin that is suitable in size and fits that hole nicely we need to cut the cotter pin because this looks fairly long you don't want it too crazy long you'll know, snagged up on stuff from underneath here doing some crazy off-roading With the cotter pin now bent both ways and the cotter pin now is installed onto the clevis pin that holds the emergency brake cable onto the emergency brake lever, which will actually activate the emergency brake shoes in the inside and put pressure on there and actually create the stopping power. And now we will attach the return spring onto this clip right here and the rod will be connected to this hole and then the spring will be attached and the spring will run all the way up here onto this bracket right here onto this hole and that is how the spring will be attached. Now it's time to install the link rod onto the clip right here and it just will feed through the hole on the clip right there as you can see. Slides in like that. And this will now be pointed up this direction and the spring will be connected to this end and the spring will be fed to that bracket now. Orientate your spring in the correct position. So with this closed loop, it will hook into the link rod like that. And then you'll swoop this thing up and now connect it to this bracket just to pull the spring and it will feed through this hole on the back side, just like that. And now your spring is set up with the emergency brake cable. And that is how you install your emergency brake return spring onto your cable and your lever. Thanks for watching. Let's build a Willie's Jeep and make sure to subscribe.